Welcome to another episode of Screen and Flicks with Toyo Sige. It's been a while. I took, I took a short break and I'm back. Today, we're going to continue our series. We'll discuss symbolic codes. We'll discuss indexical codes. We're looking at another um, semiotic code in cinema today known as Enigma Codes. And now, Enigma Codes are codes that um, generate questions in the minds of the viewers. They give clues and hints as to what will happen later on in the film. And then, later on, the questions are answered. Today, I'm going to be discussing... Um, a weekend to forget by Damola Ademola. Um, in the film, some friends gather together to go on um, a weekend, hang out together with their their friends, spouses, whatever, and then a murder takes place. So it's a udonit, and um, throughout the film, we are made to guess um, who the murderer is and what was the motive for the murder. Now, um, at the beginning of the film. We get to see the first enigma code when um, Chief Ajasa, Lisa's dad, uh, tortures a former friend and uh, what, a business partner and he holds a hot dog in his hand and I'm wondering, what does he want with the hot dog? Why is he holding a hot dog? And then he, later on he says something about small structure and then he asks his boys to pin his business partner down and that gives us a, a clue as to what that meant. Pin him down and remove his small structure and he's holding a hot dog, you know, if you can add up whatever those clues are you understand what is going on in that scene and Dali had comforted um, Lisa uh, uh, while holding a knife and then she had dropped the knife and then there was a zoom in on the knife and we're wondering okay what is this with this knife so we're guessing probably this knife will be used some way somehow later on in the film and then it ha happened eventually that after the murder had happened um, Bem eventually attacks Tito with that same knife so that means that <laughs> Undali who dropped the knife eventually didn't know that um, that same knife would be used to attack her boyfriend later on and then having known that the knife is not the murder, murder, murder weapon they were wondering so what is the murder weapon later on we found out that um, Andali and Lyo, Shima's wife uh, while they were in Bem's room se were searching for anything clues props whatever they could find to um, pin on whoever they feel is the murderer and then they discover something but the filmmaker in his wisdom decides to shield whatever they are seeing from us. So that's an enigma code because we, do, we cannot see what they've seen, but their reaction suggests that they found something very important to the crux of the matter. And then later on, about two, three scenes later, we discover what they have seen. We found a murder weapon. What? It's a hammer. We found it in Ben's room. What? And they were not asking who used this and then of course they tried to pin it on them and their skills fight and all and all and then eventually at the end at the tail end of the film we get to discover what actually happened with the mother and who actually wielded the mother weapon in a weekend to forget Adamola, Adamola uses a lot of enigma codes to drive home his point to get the audience engaged and to answer the many questions in their minds Next episode, I'm going to be talking about conventional codes. See you then.